Pointing the finger at someone else is a common and often successful criminal defense strategy. The case of Beattie v. Commonwealth explains the kind of evidence a defendant must produce to argue this defense in front of a jury. Pamela Kuhl loaned her car to her friend Marion Ann Hanks and Hanks's boyfriend, Roger Beattie. While Beattie was driving and Hanks was in the passenger seat, a police officer noticed the car weaving and pulled them over. Beattie failed a field sobriety test, so the officer arrested him for driving under the influence and searched the car. The search revealed bags containing methamphetamine and the components of a methamphetamine lab in the back seat and the trunk. The Commonwealth of Kentucky charged Beattie with manufacturing methamphetamine and possession of methamphetamine and methamphetamine ingredients. At trial, Beattie claimed the methamphetamine and lab components didn't belong to him, and he didn't know that stuff was in the car. Kuhl testified for the prosecution that her car was empty when she loaned it to Hanks and Beattie. Beattie's attorney then made an offer of proof outside the jury's presence, alleging that Kuhl had loaned the car with the methamphetamine and lab components in it to frame Hanks. Specifically, Beattie's attorney questioned Kuhl, who admitted she was jealous of Hanks and suspected Hanks of having an affair with her boyfriend, Kenneth Husky. Beattie's attorney also produced a piece of cardboard containing handwritten questions addressed to Hanks about the alleged affair. Kuhl admitted to writing it. However, the judge excluded Kuhl's cross-examination testimony and the cardboard document. Ultimately, the jury convicted Beattie of all charges. He appealed to the Kentucky Supreme Court, arguing that the exclusion of the evidence violated his due process right to present a defense.